All right, pal, Chartland away today. So what's happened since Oldham away? Well, Stuart McCall was sacked and we've got Simon Grayson in. So today is his first game in. Welcome to the club, Simon, and thank you for what you've done to Stuart. Um, I don't agree with the fact that McCall were actually given the job in the first place, but this isn't to slag McCall off. This is to welcome Simon Grayson. we got... Um, since Alden, we, we played Bury, we drew two all, we, sco we scored with Dieng, they went and scored, and then we scored, uh, so it was 2-1, uh, who scored that goal now, I forgot, anyway we scored, and then they scored in the 95th minute, so we drew it home to Bury, but we stopped the rot I suppose, uh, let's think positive and hopefully we can get something today, come on City, don't let me right, down. We're on his way to Charlton, we're on A1. We've just gone past Lincoln, yeah? yeah? Unfortunately, we don't have Cammy with us today, so I've got to take the role of presenting this video. I know I've got some big shoes to fill, but the wanker couldn't get the time off the work off work because his brother wanted the same time off and they're not allowed the same time off together. Right, we'll go to Gaz first because I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've, we're on his way, as Task has said. Are we confident? I'd, not at the moment because we've been on a bad run, but Charlton haven't been so good. We've got a new manager, hopefully the new men manager mentality will kick in and we'll get a win today because they're the team that are directly below us with the playoffs. What now, do you think the appointment of Simon Grayson? I think it's great because at the end of the day he's never failed wherever he's been. Huddersfield, Preston, Preston, Blackburn and Leeds. Blackburn. He took them all up, yeah. Blackburn. Yeah, yeah, Blackpool. <laughs> Four teams that I took up there. Um, hopefully, he can do it with us as well because we, we need to uh, get out of this league. I don't mind this league, but it would be nicer to go to Norwich and Ipswich rather than fucking Wimbledon. Now, as for Stuart McCall, I believe that he overachieved last season for his standard because when to get in the top six after Parkinson with no players. He did a good job, but if Parkinson had been in charge, he'd have, he'd have got us promoted because we've had players like Adam LaFondra and Gary Medine that have come in instead of Jordy Wooler. He, I think he should have walked at the end of last season. I didn't agree with the appointment from the beginning, but fair play to him. He, can, he leaves with his head held high because he's left us in top six. Uh, Simon, Grayson's, Simon Grayson's taking over the best team in the league, in my opinion, because We've got the players that are good enough. It's proved it against Wigan and Shrewsbury away. So hopefully we can get something today as well. What's your thoughts on it? I know Steve. Oh yeah, we've got Steve with us. Yeah, uh, Steve. Instead of Sean. Steve, what's your thoughts on the manager situation? Are you confident about tonight's game? Yes, I think so. We need. We, we do need to win. We do. But it's probably going to be a draw. Do you I think, think Simon Grayson's the right man to take us further? Definitely. Of all the names I've seen. Simon Grayson's probably the best on, on what he's done in the past as well. So I'm very confident he's going to get us promotion this year, if not next year. Yeah, if, if it's not this season, then definitely next season because we'll go up a, a better team as well. Uh, yeah, if the owners let him sign a week, that's, that's it. That's it, it that's now it's time to see if the owners are going to back him. Uh, because I watched something the other day where the owners got rid of James Hansen last season. Good. And McCall didn't have a choice in the matter. Yeah, it, it was good, <laughs> but James Hansen's just a big useless dickhead anyway, even though he changed the game for Bury last season. But yeah, he, need, he needs to go back to I working to co op and serving underage kids' sigs <laughs> back well, in Idle. One of the guys who I'm, I'm mates with, Barry, he came to Peterborough with us a couple of years ago, but about eight years ago, eight or nine years ago, he said to me, he says, Simon Grayson will be in charge of your team one day. And I just laughed it off, so... But in the come of guys, like? Yeah, with, with the silly <laughs> shoes, yeah. with silly trainers. <laughs> so, yeah, so Basley, that's a good shout-out, is that, mate? Yeah, uh, anyone shout-out shout to out. anyone? Yeah, fair. Um, You've got to give her one, haven't we? Because um, she watches yeah. it all the time. But no, my opinion, I am confident tonight. It's sit here in the Super 6. I've put us to win 2-1. I think Simon Grayson will get the players motivated again. Like these two said, it's a cracking appointment. If we don't go up this season, I think it's a definite next season. But you never know if the 
owners give him the full backing that we all want and the time and the money and let him pick who he wants to sign then does he think there'll be no stopping us? As long as he doesn't cover him like McCall did. And yeah. He's a boss. And not play the same players that have been shit like Nicky Lowe. Yeah, true. And Vince a lot. Jake Reed, I mean, you got to look at the owners. They didn't back McCall in January, but I don't fucking blame them because at the end of the but day... They still didn't focus on one player, the, they didn't the, have a backup. Plus, not only that, but look at the players that McCall has brought in. Colin Doyle for a pound. <laughs> Ruben Satomita, who was shit. Lucas Raider, who was shit. Dominic Polion, who was shit. Jake Reeves, who was shit. So would would you would you give a manager the money to bring players in when the players that he's brought in aren't good enough anyway? Yeah. And Adam Chicken, who are here, please leave him down here because he's utter turd. Yeah, bring back Mark Marshall with us. Yeah, bring back Mark Marshall and no, leave Billy Clark down here. Uh, but I, I, I'm not confident tonight because of the run of form. I don't think we're going to win, but I don't think we're going to lose. I think, I think it'd be too all, to be honest. I'm going to say too all, yeah. But I'm, I'll get the scorers in a bit when yeah, I realise who plays for Charlton. What about Greg Abbott? What should they do with him? Get rid of him? Keep uh, him because he's... He's, he's named the players, he's picked the players out to yeah, sign. Yeah, I, I, Surely he's got some responsibility. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree. I'd, I'd get shut of him and all. I'd get rid, uh, get rid of all the backroom stuff that yeah. McCall's brought in and let Grayson bring in who he wants because it's worked for him before. Yeah. So let him do it again. And honest to God, the team that he will get, it, it, like Shreve says, if we don't go up this season, next season we will. And, it, and I'd, I'd put money on that for definite. Yeah. Um, he turns teams into good sides. He turned Blackpool into a decent championship side. Leeds signed him. Then they sacked him. But that's no, that's not fresh because that's all they do. <laughs> and then Huddersfield got him. He turned them into a decent championship side. Then he decided, and then Preston got him. And look how he's left them. They were seventh in the league last season when he left them. He went to Sunderland. Um, Which were inevitable to, to getting sacked there. To be fair, a world class manager would wouldn't do nothing there. No. I, I can't name a world class manager because at the end of the day, would, would Mourinho and Klopp and all them do a good job with no money like we have at the moment? Yeah. World class manager, I hate to fucking say it, but David Wagner at Huddersfield, he did a great job to get them out of the championship. I hate to say that, but yeah. And that's enough, that's enough on them. Right, shout outs, let's say fair. And we won't miss about Cherub. <laughs> you can have one, a proper one. <laughs> Cherub and out my shout outs that floor. Alex Evans. Yeah. Sharon Bratton. Luke Mason. That guy who's missing today. Yeah, Coe, so you're not here, but you can still have a shout out. Yeah. And Sarah James and Joshua. And who else? Douche, fuck you, douche. <laughs> um, Ryan. Yeah, the the retirement home where uh, that I've let Steve come to game today. You tight bastard. <laughs> Anyone else, Steve? You got any shout outs? Can't think of anybody really. Stuart McCall. <laughs> Stuart McCall, yeah, you can have a shout out. What, what did you guys think about that, that home game when they were all chanting his name and all? First of all, it was stupid because you were supposed to do it in the fourth minute, but you didn't. You did it in the fifth minute. Four minutes to four fifty-nine. That is the fifth minute, not the four, uh, not the fourth minute. It should have been from three to three fifty-nine. Yeah. Retards. <laughs> and what about Anson? Uh, uh, yeah, clap him when he's running on the uh, touchline. Yeah, but you I wouldn't have clapped him if he scored, though, would I'd, you? But when he's come on as a sub, why? cheer for someone who's come on who's trying to score he well, nearly he did score that. against the one pound pitch <laughs> and you the know and, 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 and did he celebrate when when he scored in last minute yes yeah. he did so and, you know james anson if this is the same james anson who refused to play for us to go to sheffield united said he'd never play for bradford city again or never want to come back to bradford well that is your last time you're coming back to bradford pal because you're going to be playing Playing for Bunny against Aldershot next season. So fuck you, co-op boy. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. We'll do scores later. Yeah. We all love more. <laughs> See ya. No cars for sale around here anymore. There's no Sean Coe. Look 
how good my car is. My car is just fucking brilliant. The camera ain't even focusing. Come on, you bastard. There we are. No cars for sale and no show. My score all. prediction for today is 2 2. I think Fatso Emery will score 2 in the first half. And then we'll all be a bit disheartened, but we'll come good in the second half. I think Charlie Wyke and uh, Percival will score. We've gone 4 5 1 today. We've got Doyle in goal. Uh, his back four is Tony McMahon, McGowan. Well, have they got line up on? Yeah. Um, and other two defenders. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know that Chickson's in midfield, which I'm a bit disappointed at, but Schwen will re line up in a minute. I think that bar the Juventus game will be 3-0 to Juve, sorry James, but I think Iguain will get all three. Right, anyone else want to do a score prediction, James? Go on, buddy. I'm with you, but not 3-0. It'll only be a 1-0, so take it to Wembley. Good yeah. Fight in the second leg. It'll score. Harry Kane. It's got Harry Kane's no, no, no. One nil to Juve. Oh, one nil to Juve. Yeah, but take it back to Wembley. All oh, right, we've well, there. Just fine. say Aguirre because I didn't know any Juve oh, players. Well, yeah, well, guy ball is out, isn't he? So that's good. Yeah. Um. And Bradford. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling something tonight. New manager. Yeah, that'd be Nick a result. Don't say Nicky Lowe will get a goal. No, no, no. <laughs> but man, free kick. There you but go. man, free kick. That'll do. Steve, what's your score prediction? Hang on, let me put light on so because everyone can see your pretty old face. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Two one to City. And who's going to get us Charlie goals? Charlie Wake and Taylor. And he said, "Fuck Charlton. He don't give a shit who I'm scores with Charlton." And, well. and he's not that bothered about Juventus either. Schwain. I say two one to Bradford. Me. And Wake with both of them and Solly for Charlton. And what's everyone else's score predictions? <laughs> right, yeah, we've got to read all these again. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> right, Charlton. Alex says 5 4 to Bradford. <laughs> he said Chris Sully with all four for Charlton. Charlie White, two. Adam Chicks and Ryan McGowan and Colin Doyle for six. <laughs> right, Luke says 2 1 to Bradford. Wyke and Gilead for us and Marshall for them. Sarah says 2-1 to City, um, Wyke and Dieng, and Fosu for Charlton. Douche, he says 2-0 to Bradford, Wyke and Polion. Fuck you, Douche. Is Polion even playing? No, he's... I he's... think he'll play more. Good. No. Ryan says 3-0 to Charlton, what a wanker. <laughs> Fosu 2 and Kasky 1. <laughs> right, and Faye says 2-0 to Charlton, she can fuck off and all. <laughs> <laughs> Sean says 2-0 to Charlton. What a wanker. You're all a set of wankers. Sean, the City fan. He says Can't McGee believe it. and Marshall. Becky says 1-1 for the City game. Charlie White to score. She didn't, she didn't say he was going to score for Brooklyn. Charlton. Charlton. And Gary Lofthouse says 3-2 to City. Oh, I'll take that. Score, I'll it? take that. And then Robbie, Robbie says 3-2 to City. White, 2 and an own goal. And he answered eh? Charlton Why an own goal? I don't know, and both of Sean's kids in the next message. Oh, we're waiting for a message? No, I've got it here. Well, Sharon Bratton said his score prediction, but I've, Josh, I can't Josh find it. Joshua says 1-1. One, one. One, he said one. McGuinness for Charlton and White for City. Right. And James said 1-0 to City, Chickson. Right, and well, like it. I say, I've got Sharon Bratton's score in the YouTube, but I can get it on a computer, but not on my phone. So, we'll, hopefully we can get three points a day. It's, this is a long-term project with Simon Grayson. If the owners back him, then hopefully we'll, uh, well, we'll, we'll definitely get promoted if they back him owners. Anyone else got anything else to say? Yeah, we're going to win. Schwain is on it like a fucking car I'm going to win a million pound on Super 6 and City are going to score a last-minute goal to win me that million pound. <laughs> What's this tash, James? What's, What's this going on? My God. Anyway, it's, what did, year. it's not more than how do you think yet, you know? how do you think City season's been so far, James? On an outside person's Neutral. view, started so well, promising top six all the way. Now just tonight, it's like there's two points between the two teams. Yeah, it's That's going to be a tough to tough game today. They, they are right good at home, but then again, we're not right good at all. With, so, <laughs> it's well, with, with, with the luck with the poor form, stayed in the top six. Now it's time to kick on again. Yeah. Now we've got uh, Simon Grayson as manager. We're going up as champions. We're gonna gonna lose all the rest of the games because one of them's against us. Blackburn <laughs> are gonna fall to pieces. It's so all fucking salad. 
Shrewsbury. Salop. <laughs> well, yeah, because everybody don't want to know what a Shrewsbury town is. In no. Championship. Well, next season could be Burton Albion versus Shrewsbury in Championship. That Maybe sounds Burton fun, doesn't it? Down. Yeah. Anyway, we've had enough. I've just got another score prediction from the underpants gnome. At seven o'clock, on the wrong fucking status, I'm Gaz. I'm not Sean. Sean's back at home. And he said before five. Yeah, I said before five. Can you not read? But we'll give you your score prediction because you said we're going to win. <laughs> we, he said, said 2-1. Two, two, one, one, but and he said who's going to score. No, because he doesn't know any players. He said Grayson will get us playing. Grayson will get us playing. Come on, Sarah! Yeah. Yeah. And shout for Grayson! Half time to Charlton, McGuinness with the goal. Uh, McMahon's been absolutely poor, but it's just uh, not good at the moment. But hopefully, Grayson can turn it around. I've seen good glimpses. What about you, Shrein? Seen good glimpses? It's been getting better as it's been going on, but McMahon's getting beat too easy. Yeah, so they're, they're just taking us down the right out of the Fotsu, who's got him in his pocket. Anyway, how much and upwards? It is getting better as it slowly goes on, so let's hope second half we can turn it around. Come on! Oh! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come Go on! Go on! Offside. Go on! Move for him! Go on! Go on, Taylor! Oh, fucking dog! Go on! Get it in! Oh, man! That is fucking dog hey. shit. Hey. Fucking shit, man. Oh no. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yay! Yeah, what a fucking ever. Go on. Robinson, I fucking said bring him on! Come on! Come on! Get it back in! Come on, Warner! Come on! Come 
What best performance I've seen this season in second half. Seven against Bradford Ale! Yeah, so I finished 1 1. So Ray Robinson in second half with a bullet header. Mm. We're coming away quite happy actually, but got to wait for a train because Ash Wayne's gone to the car. So, yeah, well chuffed with that. Performance is outstanding in second half. Can't, can't give any. Um, Anything bad to any, it plays at second half. First half, Vince Lott were a bit weak. McMahon were showing up a bit, but whatever Grayson said in that half time team talk, he's uh, done the job, hasn't he? Certainly have, yeah. We, Paul Taylor, bringing Paul Taylor on and, uh, and Robinson, it seems to have done the trick. Yeah. And really up the game, second half. The substitutions made a massive impact with, as Steve has said, Taylor and whoever other one? Robinson. Robinson. I'm absolutely knackered. I've got to drive four hours now, <laughs> but it's all worth it. We absolutely love it. I think Grayson's going to get this team up and running. Thanks for watching. See you there.